common uh, room committees. Uh, as we all know that there are 16 <coughs> halls in NTU, and uh, each hall has its own uh, committees. These committees uh, organize some activities and uh, look after the welfare for each hall. And uh, after understanding the categories, uh, let's say the ECA points, look at this chart, we can see from the uh, verticalized that different positions have different points. And we can see the president and the vice president get the highest marks. And uh, uh, subsequently, uh, the other members in main committee and uh, the subcommittee always get the lowest marks. And uh, the horizontalized should different level of clubs have different points. Uh, and in our survey, uh, we focus on the attitude of, uh, towards ECA. Look at this sector. Uh, more than 18% students gave at least three marks of it. That means they think at least the ECA system is OK. However, there are 18% students give low marks. The people who approve ECA think that these activities really make their life uh, more colorful. However, the students who don't like it think that because it uh, combined choosing horse uh, with the, the ECA points, that really makes them feel stressful. Uh, so, uh, international students told us that it is common that when organize activities, the local students do their own business However, the international students do, do their own business. It's not a good idea for international students to understand the culture in Singapore. And another student told us that he suggested that they should uh, combine the ECA points with the studying grades when consider choosing the horse that must be more reasonable. And uh, here are some pros and cons we conclude from our survey. First, these activities can make our campus life more colorful. And because you participate in some activities, you will meet some new friends that can in extend your social network. And because you do some job for the activity, you can improve yourself. And uh, there are also some disadvantages. Uh, for because you participate in some activities that will uh, occupy your study time. And however, some of the activities seem to be meaningless. Also, because they combine the ECA points with uh, choosing holes that make some students feel stressful. And uh, so our advice is that when choosing ECA, we should be wise that only choose a few. Uh, that we really enjoy and do hard work in it, that we can improve ourselves. Also, we won't feel too tired. And let Chen Huan tell you something about the roommates. Okay, thank you, Chen Yun. As you can see in this photo taken in a room in a hall, this man is a Chinese, however, the other two are Western people. So what kind of roommate do you prefer? A roommate from the same country, a boring roommate, live alone, don't care, or a person who has the same schedule. As for this question, according to our questionnaires, the results are in this, chart, uh, in this pie chart. We can see that 35.3% people don't care the nationality of their roommate. However, when we had further interviews with them, more than half of them mentioned that they would like a roommate who had the same schedule. And then, 26.5% people prefer to live alone. They say that it would give them more personal space. And also, 26.5% people who want to have a roommate from the same country, they say it would be easier to communicate with each other and find more common topics. Only 11.7% people choose a foreign roommate. They said it would be a bit challenging at the beginning, but they say it's also a good ch chance to know foreign people and foreign culture. And then, 
we, we, when we have the interviews, we also ask her this question, <coughs> how to get along well with your roommate. Here are some tips that we sum up. The first one is that be clear from the beginning. Uh, this means you should tell your roommate your rules and also ask your roommate his or her rules. What are the things you like or don't like your roommate to do? It's quite important. And the second one is respect your roommate's staff. Don't use, take, or borrow anything without permission. And the third one is that be open to change and new things. It's obvious that your roommate will be very different from you in many aspects, but just have an open mind. And finally, be careful of who you bring into your room and how often. Don't make your room a, a place to have party all the time. You should ask your roommate's permission first when you want to bring someone into your room. And then about this question, how do you get along with other four members? For this question, five is the highest mark. But you can see that no one chose one, and only 4.8% people choose two. So the majority of the people choose more than three, which means they get along quite well with each other. And then, let's come to the conclusion part. We used five weeks doing this survey about horse in North Spy and South Spy, and we combined questionnaires and the interviews so that we could get the information both generally and specifically. And then as for the results about our survey, you can see that the popular horse are Hall 8 and Hall 16. And also, most people are quite satisfied with the horse they are living now, which means all the horse are quite good. And however, we also have some suggestions. The first one is about the lift. Only Hall 3 and Hall 16 have lifts. And it's not so convenient when, when you move into a hall or carry many things. And the second one is about hall 7. Hall 7 don't have a canteen nearby, so we suggest uh, have a building a canteen nearby hall 7. And the last one is about ECA. Uh, we think it would be better if we combine both ECA and study grades when deciding which hall the students will leave. And that's all about our presentation about the hall. And thank you very much for your kind attention.